In just a moment, these projectors will roll with one of the most controversial pictures ever made. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? But right now, all the action is outside. So let's go take a look. There were more stars than on the sidewalks of Hollywood Boulevard. It was the filmland's evening of glitter and glamour. The celebrities were there. Mr. Ross Martin, Miss Carolyn Jones. They came for the gala premiere of the motion picture, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Carol Channing in Hollywood to make her own motion picture. Lovable Jack Oakey. Waiting a turn for a television interview, Jane Wyman. There were crowds who jammed the area to see their favorites, including Steve Allen and his wife, Jane Meadows. And newcomers to the Hollywood scene, Michelle Lee and her husband, Jack Farantino. Virginia Woolf, as you know, is not a children's story, but a very controversial play by Edward Albee, now transformed into a film of the same nature with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Don Adams was there, and we promised not to use his famous line. Janet Lee took time to sign autographs for the many fans who were there to get autographs. And the stars continue to pour in. Stuart Whitman, Matt Boone and Shirley, Hotel Magnet, David Shine, Art Linkley, representing the younger set, Annette Funicello with her husband, Jack Zalarni. And of course, a very big attraction with the autograph crowd is Natalie Wood. A piece of paper isn't handy. Anything convenient will do, like an arm. That gentleman hasn't washed his arm since then. Naturally, the press photographers were there en masse. These are the nights they wait for, and the stars don't seem to mind it either. Rod Taylor gets a few oohs and ahs from the audience. And so does Gregory Peck, who takes a moment for a TV interview. His comic, Jonathan Winters, waits his turn. Mr. Jack Warner, whose studio made the film, arrives with beautiful Pearl Oberon. Shelley Winters was there. Mr. Warner and Ms. Oberon obviously attract much attention, as does popular Forrest Tucker. Two more beauties, Samantha Egger. Phyllis Diller. The fans besiege Phyllis for autographs. And although she says she doesn't care to sign them, how come she brings her own pen wherever she goes? Quail yet, with red ink. The ever alert gentlemen of the police force take all this in. Now watch that man's wrist. Phyllis signs it. stars arrive. Beautiful Tina Louise with her husband, Les Crane. And Andy Williams and his charming French wife move quickly to their seats. And another beauty, adding to the glamour of the event, is Ann Miller, standing with Edgar Bergen. And I must assure you that Ann is doing her own talking. You, of course, recognize Terry Moore. The crowd really cheered for Julie Andrews. Or maybe it was for Andre Previn, who's behind her. No, it was for Julie, although composer Conductor Brevin is very popular. Sue Ann Langdon takes a fast minute to describe her multicolored hair creation to Terry Moore. And then the star-studded audience is seated for one of the most talked about films of all time. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? 